the simplest, easiest, and most versatile type of solar cooker is probably the box type. But if you like to tinker with new technologies, you might be interested in building your own parabolic cooker. There are many ways to make parabolic cookers. I have seen them made from umbrellas and even cardboard. Plans for various designs are available at solarcooking.org. Here's how I made my parabolic solar cooker using an old satellite dish. An old satellite dish has some nice advantages. It was designed to be adjustable so it can be rotated and tilted to the most efficient position for capturing the sun's rays. The first step in making a parabolic cooker from a satellite dish is to mount the dish on a sturdy base that is heavy enough to resist toppling over in the wind. After removing the LNBs from the LNB mount, I removed the dish from the supporting pole and reinstalled it on the pole upside down. Turning the dish upside down moved the LNB mount from the bottom to the top where it can be used for hanging the cooking pot. I discovered that a 1 inch by 2 inch board would fit perfectly into this type of LNB mount. I made the arm adjustable by drilling holes in the board about 1 inch apart and using a nail to hold it at whatever position I desired. I also put a hook in the end of the board for hanging the cooking pot. For the reflector, I glued aluminum foil to the satellite dish. I used ordinary white multipurpose glue, thinning it with water so I could easily brush it on the dish. The dish should be positioned at a 90 degree angle to the sun's rays. I replaced the angle adjustment nuts with wing nuts so they could be loosened and tightened by hand. The angle remains the same throughout the day. It changes only when the angle of the sun changes according to the season of the year. However, when in use, the dish must be rotated to follow the sun throughout the day. So I left the nuts which hold the dish on the post loose so the dish could be freely rotated. For maximum absorption of heat and light, I painted the cooking pot solid black using high temperature paint, the kind you use to paint barbecue grills. I'm sure we have all, at one time or another, used a magnifying glass to focus the sun's rays to set a piece of paper on fire. A parabolic reflector works in a similar way as demonstrated in this photograph. A newspaper held at the focal point of this parabolic cooker took only 15 seconds to ignite into flames. This experiment was conducted in September at 8.30 a.m. with the sun still low in the sky and an ambient temperature of only 65 degrees Fahrenheit. It is important to position the cooking pot at the precise focal point of the parabolic cooker. Throughout the cooking process, the cooker will need to be rotated slightly, about twice every hour, to follow the sun as it travels across the sky. For this reason, a parabolic cooker does not lend itself to absentee cooking as well as a box type solar oven, which can be left in the same position all day. A final and necessary step is to insulate the cooking pot to prevent heat loss to the surrounding air. This greatly improves the efficiency of the cooker and increases the temperature in the cooking pot. This can be accomplished by placing the black pot inside a clear Pyrex glass dish or, as illustrated in this photograph, by placing a clear plastic cooking bag around the pot. This is the same kind of clear cooking bag that you use in your oven. This is Survival Doc reminding you, be prepared or be prepared to be fleeced.